Want to speak real Cantonese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at CantoneseClass101.com. Hello, welcome to Cantonese Weekly Words. I'm Olivia, and we are in Hong Kong, but it's raining today. We are going to talk about a bunch of Cantonese words. Let's see what's the topic. This week's theme is hobbies. Tiu mo, tiu mo is to dance, dancing. Uh, also, I got I used to learn dancing when I was younger. I did jazz dance. Wan ngot hei. Wan ngot hei is to play a music instrument. Ot hei is music instrument. Again, I used to play music instrument when I was younger. I used to play saxophone. Ngo sai ko do ya wan ngot hei. Ngo hei chui saxophone ge. Ying sang. Ying sang is uh, to take photo or photography. That's one of my hobbies too. <laughs> Ying sang in a sentence. Ngo zhong yi ying sang. I like taking photos, but I don't like carrying a heavy camera. <laughs> 唱歌 is to sing. 唱歌, la la la, to sing. 唱歌, 我都學過, 唱歌, 但是我不喜歡. <laughs> I learned singing, but I didn't like it. And I'm tone deaf. Sufa, Sufa is calligraphy. Chinese calligraphy, we hold the pen like this. It's uh, vertical, we hold it vertically. Sufa, Ngo Mama Yao Se Sufa, my mother do calligraphy. That's true, and she's pretty good at it. So that's it for today. Today we talked about hobbies. What kind of hobbies do you have? And I'll see you next time at Cantonese Weekly Words. Bye! Welcome to Cantonese Weekly Words. I'm Olivia and we will talk about fruits this week. So this week's topic is fruits. Let's see what our first word is. Hangzil. Hangzil is a banana. Banana. Hangzil in a sentence. Hangzil yang. Banana is full of nutrition. Saigua. Saigua is watermelon. Watermelon, um, but literally it's west melon. Sai means west. I bought a really big watermelon yesterday. It's really heavy. Strawberry. is strawberry. Strawberry like strawberry. Strawberry. Strawberry is my favorite fruit. Strawberry is my favorite fruit. Bolo. Bolo is pineapple. Bolo. It sounds funny. I don't know how to cut a pineapple open and I never tried it. Mongguo. Mongguo is mango. Mango. I just had mango yesterday. I'll come back. I'm saying mongguo. It's pretty good. That's it for today. Today we talked about fruits. And I'll see you next time at Cantonese Weekly Words. I'm Olivia. Bye! Hi! I'm Olivia. Welcome back to Cantonese Weekly Words. This week's topic is... Rooms. Soi fang. Soi fang is bedroom. Soi means to sleep. Fang is room. So the room for sleeping is bedroom. My bedroom is very small. It's too small. Chu Fang. Chu Fang is a kitchen. The room for cooking. My kitchen is not big enough. I like a very big kitchen. Ha Tang is a living room. Ha is actually guests. Tang is a living room, so it's like a big room for a guest to sit when they visit. Ha Tang, in a sentence, Oh Ha Tang, Zhang sofa hai bak sik. The sofa in the living room is white, so we ask the kids not to play around the sofa. Qi so, Qi so is bathroom. Qi so, this Qi so is very cold. Your bathroom stinks. Your bathroom smells. <laughs> Fan tang, dining room. 
fun is rice or a meal so a big room for rice to eat is dining room the color theme of the dining room is uh, brown and green how about yours so um that's it for today today we talked about rooms and I'll see you next time at Cantonese Weekly Words. I'm Olivia, shooting in Hong Kong. And I'll see you next time. Hatsiki! <laughs> this is Hong Kong! <laughs> Hi everyone! Welcome to Cantonese Weekly Words. I'm Olivia. And today's topic is... Color. Let's see what the first word is. Hongsik. Hongsik is red. And that's what I'm wearing today. Today I wear a red shirt. Nam sik. Nam sik is blue. Tin hong hai nam sik. The sky is blue. Luk sik. Luk sik is green. Ngo yao yak ko luk sik doi. I have a green bag. Wong sik. Wong sik is yellow. In a sentence, Ngo yao yak ka wong sik che. Ngo yao yak ka wong sik che. I have a yellow car. It's not true. Hak sik. Hak sik is black. Ngo tau fa hai hak sik ge. My hair is black. That's it for today. Today we talked about color and I'll see you next time at Cantonese Weekly Words. Bye! Hello! Welcome to Cantonese Weekly Words. Today uh, we are in Hong Kong and I am Olivia. We are going to talk about um, months of the year. Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, it's January. My birthday is in January. Ngo san yu hai hai yeah yu. Say yu is April. April Fools. Say yu yeah ho hai yu yan zi. April Fools is on the 1st of April. Look yu is June. Yo di hao hao, look yu hoi chi fang shu ga. Some schools uh, start summer vacations in June. Sub yu. It's uh, October. My mom's birthday is in October. Subyu is November. There's no public holiday in November except Sundays, but still sad. You can see in Cantonese the months are really easy to say because you just count the numbers like one, two, three, four, five. One month, yeah, yu is January. Two months, like second month is uh, February, and so on. So twelfth month is December. So yu. So I'll see you next time at Cantonese Weekly Words. I'm Olivia, and see you next time. Hachiki. Hello, welcome to CantoneseClass101.com's Weekly Words. Today we are going to talk about the weather. Tin hei weather. Lot yu. Rainy. 今日落雨好麻煩. 今日落雨好麻煩. It's raining today and it's very annoying. 晴天. 晴天 is sunny. 我喜歡晴天. I like it when it's sunny. 颱風, typhoon or hurricane. In Asia, we have a lot of typhoons in summer, especially in July or August. 今年有十五個颱風來了香港. 15 typhoons came to Hong Kong this year. Well, I made that up. I hope that's not true. That's a bit too much. Sim Din. Sim Din is uh, lightning. Sim is like flash and Din is electricity. So, lightning. In a sentence, My dog is afraid of the lightning. Chai Hong is rainbow. Rainbow has seven colors. Can you name them all in Cantonese? Seven colors. That's it for today. Today we talked about weather, Tin Hei in Cantonese. And I'll see you next time. I'm Olivia. This is Hong Kong. Check out CantoneseClass101.com. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi guys. Welcome to Cantonese Weekly Works. In this video, we're going to talk about flavors. Meido flavors. Team is sweet. I like eating sweet food. 
酸 sour， 檸檬好酸 ，lemons are sour， 檸檬好酸，苦苦 is bitter。我細個唔中意食苦瓜 ，I wouldn't eat bitter melon when I was younger。辣 ，I like eating spicy food。我中意食辣嘢。So if you like eating spicy food, you can tell people that. 我中意食辣嘢。Deep is like a tannic flavor. A spinach and uh, the tannin in tea and some red wine is deep.、Mm, in a sentence, 呢只酒太涩，我唔中意。This wine is too tannic, which I don't like. So that's it for today. Today we talked about flavors, nato, and I'll see you next time in other Cantonese videos. I'm Olivia. Bye. Hi guys. Welcome to Cantonese Weekly Words. Today we're going to talk about vegetables. Vegetables. Sao choy. Vegetables. Sao choy. Yang chong. Yang chong is onion. Yang chong onion. Um. Yang chong chao dan. Pan fried onions with egg. Yang chong chao dan. Sun tao. Garlic. Sun tao. I like eating garlic. 我中意食蒜头。粟米 corn 粟米，今日啲粟米好平。The corn is really cheap today. 番薯 sweet potato or yam. 番薯 yam or sweet potato 番薯 There's a very delicious Cantonese dessert. It's kind of like a soup. It's very healthy for your body and it's very delicious. Try it if you have a chance. Sweet potato with、um, ginger. 番薯糖水，蘑菇 mushroom 蘑菇，我好中意食蘑菇啊 ！I love eating mushrooms. So that's it for today. Today we talked about vegetables. Which one is your favorite vegetables? So please leave us a comment and subscribe and check out the word list on CantoneseClass101.com. See you next time. Have a nice day. Hi, turn it off now. Hi. Hi, watchers! Welcome back to Cantonese Weekly Words. This week, we are going to talk about jobs, jobs, 工作 jobs, uh, occupation. 警察 police, 警察我哥哥細個嘅志願係做警察 When my elder brother was younger, his dream was to be a policeman. 醫生 doctor, 醫生 doctor. My uncle is a doctor. 我姨長係個醫生，護士護士 is nurse。我朋友 Cherry 係個護士 ，my friend Cherry is a nurse。Hi Cherry <笑>。教授 lecturer or professor。教授教 is to teach and 教授 is professor、mm,。or lecturer。我表哥係個教授 ，my cousin is a professor。主婦 housewife 主婦。Women who take care of the family. 主婦係冇得放假嘅。Housewives don't have holidays. <laughs> It's a really tough job. That's it for today. Today we talked about jobs, 工作 And I'll see you next time in more Cantonese videos. Please subscribe.、Uh, leave a comment. Tell us what's your occupation. If you can tell us in Cantonese, that will be perfect. Um, check out the word list on CantoneseClass101.com, and I'll see you next time in other Cantonese videos. Bye. Have a nice day. Hi guys, welcome to Cantonese Weekly Words. Today we're going to talk about in the classroom, for such classroom, for such classroom. In Hong Kong, students usually stay in the same classroom, so you have the, your own desk, and the teacher just go to different classroom for the. Lesson. 成日坐喺一個課室好悶啊 It's so boring to sit in the same classroom the whole day. 學校 school 學校你間學校喺邊咧 Where is your school? Tell us in the comments. 白板 whiteboard. I like whiteboard way more than blackboard. <laughs> 我哋喺白板度寫條程式出嚟咯 Let's write the formula on the whiteboard. 台 table or desk 台課室入面有二十張台。There are twenty desks in the classroom. 測驗 test. We hate surprise quiz. 最憎臨時測驗。I don't know why, but teachers always do that to see how much we really know. So that's it for today. Today we talked about things that are in the classroom. 
Please subscribe and check out the word list on our website, CantoneseClass101.com. And I'll see you next time in other Cantonese videos. Bye! Hi everybody! Welcome to Cantonese Weekly Words. Today we are going to talk about at the office. At the office. Welcome to my office. <laughs> 办公室, uh, office. 办公室. The no computer. The no here is my laptop computer. Computer. With the computer, I can't work. Dinwa telephone. Dinwa here. Telephone. Dinwa. Bangong mo king dinwa. Bangong mo king dinwa. Don't talk on the phone when you're at work, unless it's related to work, right? Loban boss. Loban boss. Loban The boss is not here today. Yay! Tong si coworkers or colleagues. To go have a drink with the co-workers after work. That's one of my favorite activities. Wuyi <laughs> is meeting or hoi wui is to have a meeting. There were two important meetings this morning. That's why I'm so tired today. So that's it for today. Today we talked about words um, that are in the at the office. Bangonsat at the office. And I'll see you next time in other Cantonese videos. Please subscribe, leave us a comment, tell us about what's in your office. And check out the word list on CantoneseClass101.com. And I'll see you next time. Bye! Have a nice day! Hi guys! Welcome to Cantonese Weekly Words. Today we're going to talk about your face. Mean or lean face. I mean how what? My face is very smooth. The skin on my face is very smooth. Nan, nan, eyes. Nan, eyes. Nan. No, the nan, ho, say. My eyes are very small. I can make it bigger. Like this. Scary. Yi zai or yi. Yi zai. Ears. Uh, earrings are called yi wan. Like ear and ring. Wan. Ear and ring. Earrings. Fun fact in Cantonese, Da Yi Long, literally big ear hole, means long shark. I don't know why. I don't know why. Zhui or Hao, mouth. Hao is like the whole area, the 3D area, while Zhui is mostly referring to the facial appearance. Her mouth is very pretty, so it's the appearance. He has bad breath. It's the whole area, so we use how. Could go how 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 the whole area. Zhui or how gang gang. This is gang. In Cantonese, giraffes are chang gang lo, literally long neck deer. So a deer with very long neck is giraffe chang gang lo. Sometimes, if you want to say that you've been waiting for someone or something for a long time, you can say that I've been waiting for so long that my neck grown long. I've been waiting for you for so long that my neck grow longer. Tongue, lay, something that's very delicious, and then you can say lam lam lay. The food at this restaurant is very delicious. Literally, we are licking our lips because it's so delicious. So that's it for today. Today we talk about your face. Is there any other parts that you want to know the Cantonese names for? Let us know in the comments. Meanwhile, please check CantoneseClass101.com for the word lists and other Cantonese videos. See ya! Bye! Hi everyone! Welcome to CantoneseClass101.com's weekly words. Today, we're going to talk about furniture. Gassi furniture. You have to buy new furniture when you move to a new place, right? So, um, so after you move to a new place, you have to buy new furniture. The first word is 床, bed, bed, 床. 我要一张好大的床, 
I want a very big bed. No, you have a whole tiger chunk. Um, what size is your bed? My bed is, I think, queen size. I like to have a very big bed so I can roll all over it. Chunk. <laughs> 你張牀幾大呢 How big is your bed? Fan toy. Dining table. Fan toy. Dining table. Would you prefer a dining table that is wooden, plastic, or glass? 你想要張飯台係木嘅、膠嘅，定係玻璃嘅 ？Let us know in the comment section. We can do a poll and see which one is most popular. Next word is 書架 bookshelf. 書架 bookshelf. 書 is book and 架 is shelf or rack. So 書架 bookshelf. 我個書架上面有好多書。I have a lot of books on my bookshelf. Do you have a lot of books on your bookshelf? 你個書架上高係咪有好多書呢？凳 chair， 凳 chair。I need to buy more chairs for my place so when my guests come over, they can sit. Now they are just standing around. <laughs> 我要買多啲凳啊 ！I need to buy more chairs. 我要買 ，I need to buy 多啲凳 ，more chairs. I need to buy more chairs. 我要買多啲凳。I need to put it in my to-do list. 书台 desk 书台 Here you see the word 书 again. 书 book and 台 is desk or table. So it's kind of like the desk for a study room. 我张书台可以较高较低噶 My desk's height is adjustable. So that's it for today. Today we talked about furniture, gassy. And I'll see you next time in other Cantonese videos. Please subscribe and check out the word list on CantoneseClass101.com. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Dun, like dun 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 dun. No, wait, that's. Hi guys, welcome to Cantonese Weekly Words. Today we're in Olivia's kitchen because we're going to talk about cooking. Ju fan cooking. Let's start with the first cooking word. Ju to cook or to make a meal. Um, ju fan literally to cook rice. It actually also means to prepare a meal. So in a sentence, wow, five 点钟啦，我要翻屋企煮饭啊。Oh, it's already five o'clock. I have to go home and make dinner or prepare a meal. Notice that in the character ju, the four little dots means fire. So you can use it for food that need to be heated up, like say with fire. We can say we cook. Vegetable, we cook rice, ju fan, ju min to cook、uh, noodles, but we don't say we cook a、uh, sandwich or salad, right? Ti to cut, ti, 用刀切菜 cut vegetables with the knife. 我切親隻手指 I cut my finger yesterday. <laughs> Next word is 煎 pan fry or saute. 煎蛋 sunny side up. So for scrambled egg, you use, you use 炒蛋 because it it keeps stirring. And for 煎蛋 sunny side up, you kind of leave it in the pan for a while before you flip it or do anything with it. 煎鱼 fried fish, you also leave it on the pan for a while before you flip it or do anything with it, right? 煎鱼要开抽气先啊 Turn on the range hood when you are pan frying fish. Smells, It, or else the whole room will smell. Next word is, 炸 deep fry 炸炸嘢食嘅时候，千祈唔好有水分。When you're deep frying food, don't let it have any water on it, or else it will splash everywhere. 蒸蒸 is to steam 蒸 Cantonese cuisine has a lot of steam dishes, starting from appetizer, the entree, the dessert.、Uh, we steam everything. 蒸魚 steam fish， 蒸肉餅 steam meat patty， 蒸年糕 steam rice cake。In a sentence， 我好掛住公公整嘅蒸魚。I miss the steam fish that my grandpa used to make。蒸魚 steam fish。So that's it for today. Today we talked about cooking. Ju Fan， do you cook？ What kind of cooking method do you usually use？ Let us know in the comment section. Please subscribe and check out the word list on CantoneseClass101.com. I'm Olivia, and I'll see you in other Cantonese videos. Bye bye, Hatsikin. Hi everybody, welcome to Cantonese Weekly Words. Today we're going to talk about plants. Take map.
plants sigma. Let's start with our first plant word. Yip, leaves, yip, leaves. My plant's leaves are turning yellow. 我棵树啲叶开始转黄啦。Why? Should I water it more? Next word is branch. Ah, 树枝 branch. 我唔小心整断咗支树枝啊。I broke the branch by accident. Forgive me. Next word is flower. 花。你中意咩花咧 ？Which kind of flowers do you like? Rose, tulip, um, calla lily, whatever. Rose is 玫瑰花 or just 玫瑰。太陽花 is sunflower. Tree, 樹 tree. 我想喺屋企種一棵樹 I want to grow a tree indoor in my apartment. Is it qualified as a 樹 It's a very short, maybe not. 嗰棵樹好大啊 That is a huge tree. Don't you ever chop it down. And the next word is bloom, 開花 So literally in Cantonese is open flower. 一到春天就周圍都開花啦 Once spring start, flower blooms everywhere. It's a happy time to see flower blooms. <laughs> so that's it for today. Today we talked about plants sigma, and let me know how I can take care of my plants better. And I'll see you in other Cantonese videos. Please subscribe and check out CantoneseClass101.com for the word list. I'm Olivia, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi guys, welcome to Cantonese Weekly Words. Today we're going to talk about continents. Zhao, Zhao is like big island, also called Dai Lu, big island. The seven continents are Chat Dai Zhao. Chat is seven, and Dai is big, and Zhao is、uh, continents. The Earth has five oceans and seven continents. And the next word is Ao Zhao, Europe. We are in Europe right now. Spania is in Europe. Spain is in Europe. Where do you live? Do you live in Europe? Let us know in the comment section. And the next word is Asia. Asia is in Asia. Japan 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 is in Asia. Go to Africa and watch the Great Migration. Australia, Australia, Gold Coast is in Australia. I like to eat seafood in Australia. I like to eat seafood in Australia. Next word is North America. North is North America. North is America. So North America. Canada is in North America. Canada is in North America. The next word is. 南美洲 South America. 巴西喺南美洲 Brazil is in South America. Argentina is also in South America. And the next word is 南極 Antarctica. 南極我想去南極睇企鵝 I want to go watch penguins in Antarctica. So that's it for today. Today we talked about continents. So and I'll see you next time in other Cantonese videos. Please subscribe and check out the word list on CantoneseClass101.com. I'm Olivia. See you next time. Hi everybody! Welcome back to Cantonese Weekly Words. Today we are in Costa Rica, and、um, we're going to talk about personalities. Singa. Here we go. The first word is 受欢迎 popular. 欢迎 is kind of like welcome. And welcoming is like being welcomed by everybody. So popular. He is very popular. Everybody likes him. He is very popular. Everybody likes him. Do you have a friend that's like that? The next word is, 聪明 clever or smart.、Um, sometimes we say 小聪明 like little smart. It means witty. It's not the proper knowledge that you know, but you. Or street smart, so you would say 小聪明 or kind of like show off as well. And in a sentence, 多啲同一啲比你聪明嘅人一齐玩、uh, Hang out more with people who are smarter than you, so you can learn a lot from them, probably. So the next word is would put lively. Would put.、Um, we usually say a a kid like a child or. 
children who are very lively will say, um, this silo ho would put the kids are very lively. It's a positive adjective. I like to watch the kids play. They are very lively or they are very energetic. Next word is sing sat honest. So to be very honest, we say he is a very honest person. The story of Pinocchio teaches us to be honest. Or else you have a super long nose. <laughs> and the next word is the opposite of sing sat, which is gawa, cunning or sly. He looks very cunning. Sometimes we also use the adjective gan. It's kind of like evil or it's like the person has some hidden intentions. So he is kind of evil or he is up to no good. He is very cunning and sly. I wouldn't trust him. I hope you don't have any person around you that is gawa or gan. So that's it for today. Today we talked about personalities, singga. And uh, what is your personality? Was was it anyone in the word list? Check out the full word list in CantoneseClass101.com and please subscribe if you like this video. Please subscribe so you can check out more Cantonese videos by me, Olivia. And I'll see you next time. Hatsikin. Bye! Hi everyone, welcome to Cantonese Weekly Words. Today we're going to talk about post office, Yao Gok Post Office. Let's see what are the words. Yao Gok Post Office. I go to a post office to mail a letter. Um, post offices in Europe are very beautiful. They're usually in old buildings. And the next word is Yao Piu stamp. Yao Piu stamp. We lick the stamp and put it on the postcard or envelope. I used to collect stamps when I was younger. Gayson to mail a letter, to post a letter. I mail a letter to you. Nowadays most people don't mail letters, they send emails. Sun phone envelope. Sun is letter and phone is enclosement. So Enclosing the letter is the envelope. Sunfong. I don't have envelope. Can you give me one? Chok Dai Express Mail. Chok is like rapid or fast. Dai is to hand over. So a very fast handover is express. I need this document urgently, so please sit by express mail. So that's it for today. Today we talked about post office, Yao Go. And I'll see you next time. Please subscribe and check out the word list on CantoneseClass101.com. See ya! Hi guys, welcome back to Cantonese Weekly Words. Today we are back in my kitchen because we are going to talk about tableware. Tan Go, tableware. Here we go! So the first word is Fai Zi. In Hong Kong, we usually use chopstick for eating. And ever since SARS in 2003, my family picked up the habit of uh, using a public chopstick. We share dishes among everyone. So when we want to take the public food, we use another pair of chopsticks, usually, usually another color. So we won't contaminate the food. So gong fai, kind of like a public chopstick. And the next thing we use in Cantonese food is um, tong gang, tong gang soup spoon. We use this for soup. At least in my family, we have soup every day for dinner. So you will see this in the table for sure. Please put the soup spoon on the table. All right. Tong is soup and gang is spoon, so tong gang soup spoon. 
And the next word is qi gang. You know, you use this everywhere pretty much. Qi gang, or just gang spoon. We use spoon to eat curry. And the next word is cha cha is funny sound. Fork cha fork cha. This is like a normal cha. And if we have a plastic and for takeout food we usually get a plastic fork. So gao cha gao is plastic and cha is fork. So gao cha plastic fork. And in a sentence, um I bought a fork in Japan. It's so tiny, it's good for eating cake. And the next word is do do knife. Yong do cha gerpa cutting a stick with fork and knife. So that's it for today. Today we talked about tableware, chan go. Do you use all of the above chan go? Let us know in the comment section. So thank you for watching today. Please subscribe to check out more videos like this. And I'll see you next time. Bye! Hi everyone! Welcome to Cantonese Weekly Words. I'm Olivia. Today we are going to talk about clothing accessories. Bag. Sao doi. Sao doi is handbag or bag or pouch. Handbag. Handbag. <laughs> I'm making a leather handbag. Scarf. Gang gun. Gang gun is some scarf. Gang gun. I'm putting on a scarf. Sunglasses. Taiyang and gang. Sunglasses. Taiyang is uh, sun and an gang is glasses. So sunglasses. Easy. Uh, in a sentence. Don't wear sunglasses indoor. Of course, it's bad for your eyes and it's pretentious. Um, next, earrings. Yi wan. Yi wan is um, earrings. In a sentence, Where did you buy your pair of earrings? They're pretty. Watch. Sao bill. Sao bill is watch. I don't have a watch today, sorry. A uh, watch. Um, I don't like wearing watches. <laughs> it's uh, limiting. We, we, all, we, we just use our cell phone nowadays, right? That's it for today. Today we talked about clothing accessories. And I'll see you next time at Cantonese Weekly Words. Bye! Hi watchers! Welcome back to Cantonese Weekly Words. Today we're going to talk about clothes. Some clothes or clothing. So that's why I'm gonna show you my wardrobe. It's a bit embarrassing, but here we go. Ta da! Ngao zai fu jeans. Ngao zai fu denim jeans. Denim jeans. Ngao zai means cowboy, and fu is pants. So cowboy pants would be jeans. I wear jeans almost every day. So next, we have lan sam, lan sam, um, sweater, lan sam. lan sam I like this sweater a lot. Um, it smells good too. <laughs> lan is kind of like linen or wool, and sam is clothes, so clothes that are knitted, mostly uh, most sweaters. So lan sam. Next word is. Sussam shirt. Sussam shirt. Like blouse or shirt. Sussam. Again, sussam hai zi This shirt is purple. Mo. A hat or a cap. Mo. A san mai jo dan mo. I bought a new hat. Mi dan mo hai fei zi ge. This hat is brown. And I don't know where I should wear it to yet. And for leather jacket, it's pei lao pei is leather and lao is jacket. We don't say pei ngoi to, we say pei lao. So I love my pei lao, I love my leather jacket. Um, I'm gonna wear this leather jacket out tonight. It should keep me warm. 
So that's it for today. Today we talk about clothes, some clothes. Thank you very much for watching. If you like it, please subscribe to our channel and um, check out CantoneseClass101.com where you can find the word list for the terms we talked about today. So I'll see you next time in other Cantonese videos. I'm Olivia. Bye bye. Ha chicken. Oh yeah. It's too warm. Hi everyone. Welcome to Cantonese Weekly Words. I'm Olivia and this week's topic is drinks. There are many famous drinks in Hong Kong. The first word is Nai Cha. Nai Cha is milk tea. Hong Kong has a very special Hong Kong style milk tea. They just use a lot of tea and add it with condensed milk and or evaporated milk sometimes. Um, in a sentence, Nai Cha. Hong Kong get Nai Cha, ho chop mang. Hong Kong's milk tea is very famous. Next, Yin Yang. Yin Yang. Yin Yang is a mixture of coffee and milk tea. You should try it sometime. No. I go to Hong Kong style restaurant to drink yin yang coffee tea, coffee milk tea. In a sentence, I like drinking coffee milk tea. Next, Leng Lo. Um, Leng is short for Leng Mong, lemon, and Lo. I is short for Coca-Cola, um, ho 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 lo. So leng lo is lemon cook. In a sentence, leng lo, ho yi dong yam, yet ho yi yi yam. You can drink lemon cook either hot or cold. It's interesting, right? Next, leng ma. Leng is short for leng mong, lemon, and ma is short for ma tong, honey. So leng ma is lemon in hot water with uh, honey. Yep, it's really good for your throat if you have like scratchy or sore throat. So, no dong tin ya ya do yam yi leng ma. I drink hot lemon water with honey every day in the winter. Next word is ho la ha. Holap hat is Horlicks. I think other country has it as well. Some countries is um, powder made with malt, and you add it with hot milk or hot water and make it into a um, sweet, sweet drink. Um, I used to like it when I was a kid. No saigo gotten ho jong yi yam ho lap hat. When I was young, I liked to drink Horlicks. So that's it for today. Today we talked about drinks. I'll see you next time at Cantonese Weekly Words. Bye. Hi everyone. Welcome to Cantonese Weekly Words. I'm Olivia. And this week we have the topic... Let's see. Food. Food, my favorite. Hagao. Hagao. Hagao is steamed stream dumpling. And um, it's a very common food in the dim sum category. In a sentence, dim sum My favorite dim sum is steamed stream dumpling. Cha siu bao. Cha siu bao is steamed barbecue pork bun, or sometimes it is baked, depending on the restaurant. Um, in a sentence, you have to try the barbecue pork bun here. It's really famous. Yin wo, yin wo is um, swallow's bird nest. So um, it's supposed to be really good for women. It has a lot of collagen and vitamins and minerals, I guess. Um, in a sentence, some people say if you eat bird, bird's nest, um, your skin will become very smooth. Next is Gai Dan Zai. Gai Dan Zai is a kind of um, street snack. It's like waffle. It's kind of like the bubble sheet that we pop. Pop the bubble sheet, but it's bigger pops. Um, and it is supposed to be crunchy on the outside. and 
chewy on the inside. It's really good. In a sentence, 我中学隔篱有一档鸡蛋仔，好好味噶。There is a food stall that sells eight waffles next to my high school. They are really good. Next is 烧鹅，烧鹅 is roast goose. I'm not sure if a lot of countries eat goose. Geese, goose. Um, in Cantonese cuisine, we have a lot of roasted poultry, and roasted goose is、uh, one of the most famous, and it's very fat and it's very delicious. In a sentence, 烧鹅好好食，但系都唔可以日日食。Roasted goose is really delicious, but you cannot eat it every day. That's bad for your health. Okay, so that's it for today. Today we talked about food,、um, Hong Kong food, and I'll see you next time. Hi guys, welcome to Cantonese Weekly Words. Today we are in Costa Rica, and I'm in a hammock. <laughs> so let's see what the topic is. 翻學嘅用具 ，school supplies， and、uh, kind of sad to talk about school. Well,、uh, I'm in Costa Rica, but here we go. <laughs> The first word is notebook， 筆記簿 ，notebook， 筆記簿。筆 is pen， so pen。記 is like to memorize， to remember。簿 is kind of like、um, a small。Book, so 筆記簿 notebook, or sometimes we just shorten it to 簿俾本簿我啊 give me a notebook, or 俾本筆記簿我啊 give me a notebook. It's also the same. 唔該喺筆記簿度寫低呢啲 notes. Please write these notes in your notebook. So as you heard, notes in、uh, Cantonese we usually just say notes. It's the loan word from English. 书包 school bag or backpack. 书 is book and 包 is to surround it or bag. So the bag for books is 书包 school bag. 我个书包好重啊 My school bag is very heavy. We used to carry a lot of books, and、um, nowadays kids just carry a laptop. I think, from what I heard. So that's better because it won't hurt the kid's back or the spine. Or you can say, 咩太重嘅书包会伤背脊 Carrying a backpack that is too heavy can hurt the back. Next word is, 笔袋 pencil case, 笔袋笔 as in pen, and 袋 is the back. So the back for pen and pencils is a pencil case. 我細個有個 Hello Kitty 嘅筆袋。When I was younger, I have a pencil case that has Hello Kitty on it. <laughs> so if it was a box, a case, so we call it 筆盒 If it was a bag, kind of like a bag with zippers, that is 筆袋。你個筆袋係咩顏色嘅咧 ？What's the color of your pencil case? 原子筆 pen. So 筆 already means pen. But 原子筆 means ballpoint pen, the one we usually use. You can just say, "Ah,、uh, 俾支筆我 give me a pen," or 俾支原子筆我 give me a ballpoint pen. And it's kind of funny. I don't understand because 原子 means atom, like atom with the electron, neutron, and、um, proton. So atom and pen makes ballpoint. Pen. Maybe it's、um, a new invention back in the days when it was newly invented. The next word is 圆心笔 mechanical pencil. 圆心笔圆 is lead. 心 is like the center, the core, and 笔 is pen or pencil. So anything we write with is called 笔 So you just press it until the lead comes out. And、uh, my very first prize that I won from a drawing contest was a mechanical pencil. 我第一次赢嘅奖品系画画比赛赢嘅圆心笔。Maybe I still have it. I don't know.、Um, and yeah, 圆心笔 is so much better than 圆笔。圆笔 is pencil, like the normal pencil that you have to pile. Sharpen the pencil before you use it. 
yun but is pencil and yun sum but is mechanical pencil. So that's it for today. Today we talked about school supplies. And I'll see you next time in other Cantonese videos. Please subscribe and check out the word list on CantoneseClass101.com. And I'll see you next time. I'm Olivia. Hatsikin. Bye bye. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.